life cycle three and two, maybe. <laughs> so today's our video number two of the She Persisted Around the World book. Okay, so we're going to be reading the biographies of three other women who persisted in around the world. Okay, who did not give up, remember? Remember what we said? Persisted means doesn't, don't give up. Now, our first lady is Sir Ines, uh, Sir Juana Ines de la Cruz, okay? Sir Juana Ines de la Cruz was growing up in Mexico. Most girls did not go to school. After reading and studying, sorry, after reading and studying on her own, Juana Ines asked her family if she could disguise herself as a boy so she could go to university. They said no. She persisted, finding tutors who didn't mind teaching a girl and then became a nun in part so that she could focus on her studies and her writing. Sir Juana Ines's poems and plays are still celebrated today and her Repuesta a Sir Filotia de la Cruz I am so sorry for my Spanish. That was terrible. Was the first published argument for a woman's right to education in the Americas. Okay, so she wanted that to 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 learn, and she wanted girls and women to be able to get an education. And this is why girls and boys, it's great that you're able to come to school, especially the girls. Now, our second lady today is Kate Shepherd. When Kate Shepherd began travelling throughout New Zealand saying that women deserved voting rights, so to be able to vote, many men believed that women should avoid meddling in masculine concerns. When Kate first tried to get Parliament to give women the right to vote, they didn't listen, even though she brought the many petitions that thousands of women had signed. Still, she persisted. And in 1893, New Zealand became the first country to grant all women, including indigenous Maori women, the right to vote. So because of Kate Shepherd, women were able to vote. We are tired of having a sphere doled out to us and of being told that anything outside that sphere is unwomanly. We must be ourselves at all risks. So women should be able to vote, to do just as men okay and when you can all vote um i hope that you can that you all uh, that you all vote when you're all old enough to vote i always vote and voting is very important you it, okay when viola desmond was on a business trip her car broke down so she decided to go to the movies the movies is the cinema um, while she waited for it to be fixed. But Viola didn't know that in the town she was visiting, only white Canadians were allowed to sit on the movie theatre's main floor. When Viola was asked to leave, she persisted in saying that it was her right to sit wherever she wanted. Viola was arrested and spent the night in jail. Her decision to fight the charges against her helped start the modern civil rights movement in Canada. So because Viola persisted, she started the modern civil rights movement in Canada, asking for equality between people of coloured skin, black people and white people. I hate using those words, black and white, differentiating, but we live in times that we have to, okay? So remember, whatever the colour of your skin is, you are all equal, okay? And it's good that Viola persisted and she did not give up, okay? Don't ever let anyone be prejudiced against you, okay? Okay, let's do one more. Let's do four today. Let's do another one. There we go. Aisha Ratib. After going to law school, Aisha Ratib hoped to become a judge in Egypt. But the then Prime Minister told Aisha that she couldn't because a female judge would be against the traditions of society. She persisted in doing important legal work, helping to write a new constitution for Egypt, crafting new rules to protect women and people with disabilities, and serving as Egypt's first female ambassador. 
More than 50 years after Aisha was told no, the first woman was appointed to Egypt's highest court, thanks in part to Aisha. So if she hadn't persisted, Egypt would not have had um, a female judge. When I proposed changing the laws before, the fanatics staged demonstrations against me. We will continue to fight for reform. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should never, ever give up, okay? Because even if you're one person, you even if you do something very small, um, saying, fighting prison, char uh, fighting charges against you because you didn't want to leave the cinema, um, asking, demanding your rights, demanding to be treated equally, but you should continue, okay? Never give up. And it's not only about rights, it's also about the fact that you should always, always, and I'm repeating myself, always, 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 always continue to do your best, okay? Do your best and, you know, fight for what you want, for what you dream of, okay? Don't give up on your dreams, my little darlings. Do not give up on, on your dreams. Like we said, speak up, rise up, dream big, okay? So, and if you fail, but you fail, and it's not the end of the world, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video.